Hi, and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Allison, and today we're going to be doing a full body BOSU ball workout. We'll start out with a warm up, go into the workout, and then we'll finish with a cool down. So for our first warm up exercise, we're going to do a BOSU ball balance, and you can either do this with both feet, or you can just do single leg from something that's more advanced. How to get on this thing. First, you're going to want to step in the middle, hold on to something, and then Go ahead and put your other foot, and then you're going to wiggle the feet out by sliding them on the BOSU ball. If you try to lift them up, you are going to just like fall. So, when we are balancing on the BOSU ball, we really want to make sure that our core stays nice and tight the whole time. That's what's going to give us the stability within our legs. So, the tighter we tighten up that core, the more stable my legs are going to be. Also, if my feet are more wide, I'm going to have a little bit better of a balanced base versus if I have them a lot closer on the BOSU ball. So, Less talking, more squeezing. We're gonna go for 30 seconds and we're gonna do 15 more seconds. Making sure that you're breathing on this, do not hold your breath. So if you're wanting to do more of an advanced variation and do the single leg, you're gonna wanna step in the middle. You'll see on the BOSU balls there's a slight circle here and you're gonna wanna center your foot in that circle over this white dot and that'll give you the best balance on the stability ball, make sure that you're the most balanced. So here, grab onto something, tighten up the core, make sure that we're balanced, and then go ahead and try this for 30 seconds. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can go for a minute. Um, with the warm-up, we're only going through all of these one time, so whatever you think is best for yourself. Something super important to note, when you are balancing, you're just standing, so it's really important that we are not locking out the knee. We want to keep a nice slight bend. So we're really utilizing all of the leg muscles in our glute and our calves. Rather than if I'm locked out, I'm relying completely on that joint, which can lead to an injury. For our next exercise, this one's going to be BOSU ball kicks or toe taps, whichever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to start out here with my leading foot on top of the BOSU ball. Make sure that core is again nice and tight and then I'm going to switch them at the same time. So if this is new for you, you definitely want to start out slow because there's a lot of balancing going on here. Um, once you get more of the hang of it, it's going to go a little bit quicker pace to something like this. And again, we're going for 30 seconds on this one. warm-up exercise this will be lateral side hop overs so I'm gonna want to step on the side of the BOSU ball if I step in the middle I'm not gonna have enough room to get my other foot over so making sure we're taking a good nice wide step hop on top of the BOSU ball and step right over hop up and step right over make sure we're using that core because this is an unstable surface and you are gonna need to do some balancing keep those knees nice and bent bottom is back core is nice and tight. And if you're wanting to try something a little bit more advanced for this warm-up, it'll be something like this. Just going from side to side, really getting that heart rate up. Three, two, and rest. Our circuit will be anywhere from two to four sets for 30 to 60 seconds for each exercise. For the first one, I have a band that is optional. The band is going to, um, it's going to get more engagement on our glutes. So if you're wanting to focus a little bit more there, then you're going to want to get a band. The band is going to go right above your knees, like so. I have a thick fabric um, resistance band. These ones, in uh, my opinion, work best. They don't slip and they're nice, good resistance. So our first exercise is going to be a laying hip raise. So I'm going to scoot my bottom nice and close to the BOSU ball with my heels dug in to the top of the BOSU ball or a little bit on the side is fine as well. So for this one, before you start you want to make sure that your belly button is pressed down to the mat, that the core is nice and engaged and you want to have the hands firm on the floor because you're going to be pressing through the hands and tightening up the core and also if you have the band you're going to be pulling the knees out as you drive up through the bottom of your heels 
So that is why my toes are pointed up. So I'm here, drive up, and then slowly come back down. As I come back down, I'm letting my body roll down my rib cage, my belly button, and last my pelvis. Drive back up, really squeezing my glutes nice and tight at the top, making sure that we're in a nice straight line. Really slowly coming down again, and really making sure that I'm not arching my back. I want to tuck that tailbone down, so I'm really just engaging the hamstrings and the glutes in a nice tight squeeze. Now for a more advanced version of this exercise, I'm going to extend one leg and I'm going to keep my heel on the ball and I'm going to drive up through one leg, really squeezing right underneath my glute, getting that hip up nice and high, slowly coming down. You can either do 15 seconds on this one or 30 seconds on each leg would be fine or if you want to really challenge yourself, go for the full minute. exercise is going to be a burpee and for this one we are going to flip that BOSU ball over so we have some handles to grip on the side and I'm going to start here I'm going to come down I'm going to grab each side of the BOSU ball I'm going to hop back with my feet together really making sure I have a nice good plank position I'm not arching my back so I'm here and then when I jump forward you can either go one foot in at a time or a little bit more advanced is jumping together really sitting back in that bottom, pull the BOSU ball nice and close in and drive it up to the ceiling, really squeezing the bottom at the top, core is nice and tight, slowly coming down, back together, out, up, drive and squeeze. Our next exercise is going to be called plank to press. If you're starting with the plank to press, make sure the hands are on each side of the ball in the middle. Once we're in that plank position, we're gonna drop down to those forearms, and then we're gonna alternate which arm we're gonna press up on. Dropping the elbow down to the BOSU ball, alternating, press up underneath the chest, dropping back down, pressing back up. For the knees, gonna drop those knees down. We are gonna make sure that the pelvis is tucked in so we have good core engagement. You're not gonna hurt that lower back, we're gonna drop down to the forearms, push up underneath the chest, drop back down, alternating the arms. Making sure that the hips come down with you. Our next exercise is gonna be called plank shoulder tap. So for this one, we're gonna be on the BOSU ball just like the last one, and we are tapping each one of our shoulders, nice, slow, and controlled. With this, you really don't wanna go fast because then it turns into more momentum and less, less actual muscle strength that you're using. I promise it will burn 10 times more if you go slower. So if that means doing less reps, that's totally fine. Quality over quantity. So for here, tap each shoulder, really making sure on this one that my hips aren't turning up when I'm turning. You really wanna keep the, the pelvis and the shoulders squared towards the floor. So we're here. And on my knees, I'm here, really tucking that pelvis, and here. So you're gonna feel this all throughout the core, and the shoulders, and a little bit of the chest as well. I'm keeping this plank position. Whew. And that wraps it up for those four exercises. So again, you're gonna repeat those anywhere from two to four times anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. That's totally up to you. To finish up that workout, we're gonna finish off with a little bit of a cool down, some stretches that I like to do. The first one, to stretch out that back, we're gonna get into a yoga pose called child's pose. So here, my legs are tucked behind my bottom and I'm gonna walk my fingers out, tucking my nose all the way to my knees. With the cool down stretches, go ahead and hold these for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or however long you would like. The last stretch we're gonna get into is called figure four, and this one is going to specifically get the piriformis, which is in the pelvis, but it also gets a lot of other muscles around the hips and the hamstrings, and overall just feels really amazing. So you're gonna take your ankle and you're gonna put it over your knee, 
and you're going to pull the foot that's on the floor off the floor until you feel a nice stretch in this part of your leg. You should feel that coming all the way down. And then I'm going to switch. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.